From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. We did enjoy that partial solar eclipse yesterday. Now, May 11th, 2078, where will you be then? I'll be almost 101. I plan on seeing it too. It goes right over my house. So May 11th, 2078. Here's the duration, pretty impressive duration if you are gonna be around for this eclipse in 54 years. You're talking about over five minutes of totality for many locations across the Midlands. So, hey, something to look forward to 54 years from now. In the short term, the Fireflies, they start their home schedule this evening, 7.05 against the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. The weather looks pretty good with temperatures probably in the lower 70s at first pitch, although the clouds will kind of stick around for the ball game. It's going to be a pretty decent start to the Firefly season, at least weather-wise. Now, there will be a little bit of rain this morning, possibility for a stray shower early this afternoon. Look for mainly cloudy skies this afternoon once that rain kind of moves on out. 80 degrees are high on Wednesday, and then we will have to pay attention for some scattered showers and storms on Thursday. Some of those thunderstorms could be strong or even severe, so that's something we'll have to pay close attention to. Breezy conditions on Friday, cooler air moves in, mid-70s on Saturday, low to mid-80s Sunday and Monday. Heading to the beach over the weekend, the weather's going to be great with those highs, low to mid-70s Friday through Sunday, up to about 79 degrees on Monday. Upstate looking pretty good as well. A little bit cool on Friday with those highs in the upper 60s. There will be that opportunity for showers and storms on Thursday in the upstate also. So we'll pick things up this morning. You notice a little bit of shower activity by the time we get to the early afternoon hours, just a stray shower. Otherwise, we're just expecting mainly cloudy skies. We'll make a mention of a little bit of rain very early Wednesday, very isolated activity early in the day, and then we'll have, we'll call it mainly cloudy skies for your Wednesday afternoon. Things will be warming up. You notice that flow out of the south we will probably hit about 80 degrees or so Wednesday. Then we'll have a chance for showers and thunderstorms, it looks like, as we go into Thursday, and then there is that potential for some severe weather. That's something we'll continue to monitor. As far as rainfall amounts today, not a lot. It'll be a little bit higher the further you go towards the upstate, but not a lot of rain for us here across the Midlands. Again, that severe weather threat on Thursday. As of right now, the greatest threat is going to be damaging wind gusts. We'll talk about that a little bit more the closer we get to Thursday. But showers, thunderstorms possible Thursday. We're dry Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That according to the European forecast model. The American forecast model showing basically that same concept. 77 degrees yesterday will be probably a touch cooler today with the clouds and that rain moving across the Midlands. Haven't picked up any measurable rainfall before today since Wednesday. So once again, we do expect at least some measurable rainfall later today. That'll bring down our pollen counts a little bit, but as soon as we dry up, those pollen counts jump right back up. You're talking about in this high range, both today and tomorrow with tree pollen being the major problem at this point. Warmer than normal conditions are expected eight to 14 days out, and we do expect the potential for wetter than normal conditions as well.